Hello, my name is Josh, a senior accountant at Smart Business Solutions, and welcome to this, a short tutorial on how to add long service leave for an employee into your Xero file. There are a couple of things that we need to start off with. Firstly, we need to calculate the opening balance for the employee in question. And secondly, we need to know the amount of hours a year are accrued by an equivalent full-time employee of long service leave. We suggest that you enter long service leave into your Xero file when an employee is approaching the five or six year service period. This is because whilst employees don't have access to long service leave until the seven year mark, it is a material amount and it's worth having in your business's financials to be able to start to make plans for it um, once an employee is starting to reach and is expected to reach that uh, seven year period. So to start with, we'll make those calculations I've got some prepared earlier. We've got our employee in question, Bill Frizzell. He's begun at this demo company on the 1st of the 1st, 2019, and we're entering the leave balance for 30th of June, 2023, uh, 2024. That's roughly five and a half years worth of service so far in days. That's 2007, and we need to uh, work our way across, get that into weeks, about 287. And then in Victoria, this will change depending on which state you're in. But in Victoria, we get one week of long service leave for every 60 weeks of service. So for the 287 weeks of service, Bill Frizzell has 4.7 weeks of long service leave accrued. And then we work out the hours from that to be 182 hours of uh, balance so far. We also want to work out what, uh, how many hours a full-time equivalent employee of uh, would accrue of long service leave a year. So we say that we've got 52 weeks in a year, again in Victoria, it's 60 weeks, uh, one week for every 60 weeks accrued. So for each year, that's 0.86 of a week of long service leave accrued, which equates to about 32.9, roughly 33 hours a year for a full-time employee, 38 hours a week. Then we jump into our zero file. We go into uh, our payroll section, select where the employees are housed. We find the employee in question, Bill Frizzell. We go to his leave tab. In this case, uh, most employees should have their default leave assigned already. And you'll see that here. once it decides to think, and your leave, personal leave. Then we want to assign the leave type, long service leave. We want to calculate based on ordinary earnings. Hours of leave accrued annually by a full-time employee. This is where we've worked out that here. So we want to put in 32.93. And it will use that to calculate the accrual in the pay, pay runs. And then hours a full-time employee works in a fortnightly pay period. In this case, we can say two, two times 38, 76. And then we put in our opening balance, which was the 181.59. We can leave that on termination, unused balances paid out. Then we hit save. And there we go. We've got a opening balance of long service leave. And then going forward in the in the payroll as, as pay runs are run for this employee, they will accrue long service leave uh, based on the 32 hours uh, a year. Um, and then I would suggest at, at the point at which it's becoming close to being drawn down on by the employee, a, a um, sense check is done on the balance. Um, and this will also need to be done because the uh, value at which the long service leave is paid out depends on the, the current contracted rate. Um, so a, a calculation will need to be run at that point anyway. So I hope that helps getting long service leave into your zero file uh, for any employees that are getting up to that seven year period. Thanks very much.